Hello, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video for the date of Wednesday, May the 1st. Hope everything is going great for you guys out there. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Well, actually put a video up for sharing. I did a couple of videos over this past weekend, but somehow they had issues with them and wasn't really, uh, wasn't really able to get back to remaking them. Uh, I've had life pick up and work pick up and also was wrapping up finals at school. Wrapped it up this week, so now I'm able to do this video for you. And hopefully this goes off of that hitch. If you want to check out my last video about Seth Rollins coming home to SCW, that's Scott County Wrestling, our wrestling federation that I had to ring announcing for for nine plus years. By all means, check it out. Uh, in terms of the game itself, go and go into this week's event and cover some other things as best as I can remember them. Um, we did the team ring domination. We got the got the event card, so we're pretty happy with that. Um, what else? Uh, in terms of the twenty four hour quest. You got the credits, of course. We all, majority of us did that. Um, what else? Trying to remember what I would have covered on that video. That's gone, that's gone with the wind, but let's see. Guess nothing that I can remember that was critical. So now we're just going to go into your event for this week, which is Last Man Standing, featuring Ravishing Rick Rude. So, they've been teasing, Supercar that is teasing that it might have been Robert Root, but instead we get the the original Ravishing Rick Root, all based around Robert Root's mustache. Uh, that's a nice picture. I love the fact that they, I love it when they do legends on these things. It's like, I if they did a whole season of just legends, I'd be thrilled with that. Where the focus is on old school instead of new school. So this time around we do, like I said, get Robert, not Robert, we do, we do get Rick Root as the event card for this one. A lot of people saying that they're not going to do it. It's a free weekend. For me, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, it's the first WrestleMania 35 Last Man Standing event card. So it would definitely help out the deck depending on how far I get. In terms of the rewards, let's take a look and see if anything changes, obviously. Oh, well, this is different. Um, on the on the arena side, unless, they've up, unless they update this by the time the game starts, I should be able to go for it, it's shattered. So there's no WrestleMania cards in that. In terms of your milestones, highest is going to be shattered. So... That's gonna be interesting. To see exactly how many people go for this, unless they make, unless they make that change to WrestleMania 35 cards. I can't see many people doing this event if they're only gonna be able to get as high as a shattered card with what they get in rewards if they don't manage to get the card. So, so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Okay, so that's going to be happening as of this recording, 11 hours from now. Um, recently, they introduced a new fusion chamber, uh, Break the Bank. You'll have three separate categories. You'll get your gold bar. You'll cater the servo bars to then fuse into a gold bar. Then you have a couple of options. Um, silver Vault, you could just do silver bars all the way. And get a chance at two males that's being SummerSlam 17 to WrestleMania 35 and one enhancement ultimate to WrestleMania 35. Or if you were a bit daring, you could go with Gold Vault, which basically gives you a chance at one superstar. So that could be male or female, WrestleMania Neon to WrestleMania 35, or one enhancement being Neon to WrestleMania 35. So give those a shot. That's going to be going on throughout the month. Good luck with getting the cards that you would want in that particular in that particular event. Uh, what else? We got war going on this week as the pay per view, not the pay per view, but the PvP event. Uh, I'm 
money in the bank. Nothing's changed in that. That's going to be refreshing in six days. So we'll see who we get as part of rewards for that. I'm not really a big money in the bank person. As like I said, the Brock Lesnar SummerSlam one from a few seasons ago kind of burnt me out on it. But I might give it another go someday. <clears throat> So I think that is officially going to be it for me today. If you do like this video, go ahead and throw a like on it. If you want to subscribe, do that as well. Then after you do that, go a couple of millimeters over, tap on that bell icon. Keep up to date with future videos that I do. As always, go for the pinfall with the one liking, two subscribing, and going for the pinfall at three with those notifications for those future videos that I may do that you want to become aware of. Also... Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know how you think about what you think about this video. Also, if you do put a down, if you do do a down thumb on it, or if you just have ideals or thoughts on how I can make my videos better for you, that will not only enhance your experience, but be able to show other people that that other uh, ugh, to show other people can't find my tongue, but to show other people that they'd want to view these videos as well. Let me know that as well, because any improvements, any enhancements, any ideas I could gather from you guys that would make your viewing experience better is not only better for you, but also better for me, because it gives me an idea what to give you in terms of future content. So, can't do the pack video, can't do pack opening videos like most people do. That one time was a one-off, but I can only hope to give better videos in the future for your enjoyment so now it's officially going to be it for me today for double a with this ww supercard saying see you next time and so long from ringside goodbye everybody